Hello, good people of the internet. As you might know, I quite like talking tech. In the past videos, I've told you what hardware is best suited for creative applications, such as Premiere Pro and Lightroom Classic. Already then, I was telling you to go with a Ryzen 3000 CPU over anything from Intel's offering. In many cases, that was down to value, as AMD CPUs will give you the same or slightly better performance at a lower price. Intel still had the upper hand in certain single core applications and those that made use of QuickSync. With the recently launched Ryzen 5000 series, you have absolutely no reason to even consider an Intel CPU for your build. Whether you're a gamer, a photo and video editor, or just need raw power, Ryzen 5000 CPUs are the way to go. Let me explain. The Ryzen 5000 series is the follow-up to the Ryzen 3000 series. The 4000 series wasn't skipped, but for whatever reason, AMD decided to confusingly use it for Ryzen 3000 chips configured for notebooks. Apparently, the notebook CPUs based on the 5000 series will also be named 5000 something and not 6000 and that's what it should have been all along. Based on the new Zen 3 micro architecture and announced on the 8th of October, the Ryzen 5000 series uses the same 7 nanometer manufacturing process found in the previous generation, but in the time between launches, it has of course matured. There are currently four CPUs, which are the Ryzen 5 5600, which has six cores and 12 threads, the Ryzen 7 5800X, which has eight cores and 16 threads, the Ryzen 9 5900X, which has 12 cores and 24 threads, and finally the Ryzen 9 5950X, which boasts an impressive 16 cores and 32 threads. Something that isn't very impressive yet is the light count on this video, but you can change that with a single press of a button. Thank you. The only problem with the previous generation of AMD Ryzen CPUs was that they couldn't yet beat Intel in single threaded benchmarks. But oh boy, has that changed. In Passmark, the top spots for single threaded performance are now all taken up by AMD Ryzen 5000 series CPUs. The $300 Ryzen 5 5600X beats the $540 Core i9-10900K. The single threaded performance might be important for certain games, but the majority of creative applications make good use of multiple threads. Even good old Lightroom Classic makes use of up to six cores. That is why you won't see that much of a difference when using an 8, 12 or 16 core AMD Ryzen 5000 CPU for Lightroom Classic. But the faster those cores are, the better the performance will be. I mentioned the single thread performance just to show how far AMD has come and how badly things are going at Intel. With all of that out of the way, let's get into the benchmarks. As usual, I have not tested these CPUs use using my own hardware. I'm not big enough yet to get press samples, but I could be if you were to subscribe. And buying multiple CPUs and motherboards just isn't an option for me right now. Instead, I'm relying on those that I trust. And if you've watched any of my other videos, you will know that that is mainly Puget Systems. I will once again go through all the individual applications and tell you why AMD is the way to go. I'll start off things with Lightroom Classic. AMD now takes the lead in all of the tasks. It used to be said that Intel processors were better if you wanted to optimize for active tasks like scrolling through images. That is no longer the case, possibly because of the improved single threaded performance. Even the 5600X with its MSRP of $299 beats the much more expensive i9-10900K. The 5800X and 5900X, which are more comparable in terms of pricing, beat the i9-10900K by 14% and 21% respectively. The only oddity here seems to be that Lightroom Classic doesn't seem to like the 5950X. If you only use Lightroom Classic, you're better off going with a 5900X, which will also cost you less money. The same behavior was also observed when using the 16-core Ryzen 9 3950X. Lightroom Classic 
just doesn't seem to like 16 core CPUs. On to Photoshop, where once again the four new AMD CPUs beat the best Intel has to offer in the same price bracket. But we don't really see any major performance differences between the 8, 12 and 16 core models. If all you're doing is photo editing in Lightroom Classic and Photoshop, then the Ryzen 7 5800X could be considered the budget option for incredible performance and the Ryzen 9 5900X will give you a bit better performance in Lightroom Classic. Overall I'd say go with the 5800X for these two applications and invest any leftover money in a faster or larger SSD. With photo editing out of the way we can move on to video editing. First up is Premiere Pro because that's what I use. In Premiere Pro the higher end AMD CPUs are better than Intel's offering but not by much. And that is down to Premiere Pro being able to use QuickSync rather than the GPU for video encoding and decoding. Not having to bother with those tasks frees up the GPU to be used for other things which are GPU accelerated. But still the new AMD CPUs outperform similarly priced Intel CPUs by 12 to 20 percent. Premiere Pro is one of the applications that can make good use of many cores. Thus, it should come as no surprise that the 5950X is the top performer, followed by the other AMD CPUs in descending order of cores. After Effects is another application where either an Intel 10th gen CPU or an AMD Ryzen 3000 series CPU would end up giving you very similar performance. That has most certainly changed. The AMD 5600X once again manages to outperform the 10900K by a very small margin. But the higher end 5800X, 5900X and 5950X leave everything in their shadow, including some of the monstrous Threadripper CPUs. With After Effects, my recommendation is easy. The more you pay, the better performance will be. But you won't see a massive difference between the 5900X and 5950X. For both Premiere Pro and After Effects, I'd still recommend the 5900X as the performance difference between it and the 5950X doesn't justify the difference in price. You'd be better off investing that money elsewhere such as more RAM, but that's just my opinion. And finally, let me spare a few words for DaVinci Resolve, because I hear it's quite popular. There isn't much of a difference to be seen when comparing last and current generation of AMD CPUs. DaVinci Resolve just seems to love everything AMD releases, but still these CPUs managed to solidify AMD as the top choice for DaVinci Resolve. The 5600X beats the i5-10600K by 14%, the 5800X beats the i9-10900K by 5%, the 5900X beats the i9-10900X by 29%, and the 5950X beats the i9-10940X by 22%. Depending on your budget, an AMD Ryzen 5000 series CPU can be anywhere from 5% to 29% faster than similarly priced Intel processors. Because I know a few of you do rendering, I'll quickly go through some further benchmarks. In Unreal Engine, the AMD 5000 series beats any Intel CPU at a similar price point. In Cinema 4D, the fantastic single threaded performance makes them the top choice besides AMD Threadripper CPUs. The Ryzen 9 5950X is the fastest CPU Puget have ever tested in reality capture and the Ryzen 7 5800X is the top performing processor for working with maps in Metashape. And there you have it, all the reasons why you should be ditching Intel for your next build. If you did enjoy this video, please do hit that like button and please consider subscribing. All right, that's been enough from me for one day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.